beautiful day. Mm. Sunny. Everything okay? Do you ever think about Farm McCoy's stories? I think about how they're all lies if that's what you mean. No. I mean about when he went to watch the sun setting on the coast. How pretty it was. It's not a thought that often crosses my mind. I want to go. To the coast. To see a sunset. You can see it perfectly fine here. Yeah, but I don't want my whole life to be here. I want to explore a bit. Maybe have my own stories nobody believes. Bit of an old aspiration. You know what I mean. Maybe we should go, Stubbs. Not only to see the sunset, but to touch the sea. See something other than farmland. You can't swim. That's not the point. I tell you tomorrow, I'm going to head straight down to Lawless Creek and get the first train to the coast. You ain't got no money, and a journey to Lawless is 70 miles. I'll take Lucy and find a job, save some money and go. Be nice if you came to. I'm fine where I am, Hex. It sounds like nothing but a dream not worth pursuing. Yeah, they call me the jerk Cause I always have three lovers And I burn through Trojan rubbers like no other But when I'm not between the sheets I'm busy staying undercover Ain't as sweet as it seems me Afternoon. Afternoon. It is a beautiful day. Is it not? It is. Senor. It's a nice bag you have. How much is inside? Nothing. Do not lie. I'm but a blacksmith. I carry no fortune. He's Christopher Blondie Haddock. He doesn't look very long to me. His face has been in the newspapers. Merchant. I said, don't lie. So say, little doggies, why won't you lay down? You've wandered and traveled all over the ground. Lay down, little doggies. Lay down. I've cross herded, circle herded, and trail herded too. But to keep you together is a thing I can't do. Bunch up, little doggies. Bunch of... Have a beautiful song, Galloway. Sing it again, will you? No. Don't listen to him, just sing it again, Galloway. I said... No. Only trying to keep spirits up. We all that's left, Melek? You see anyone else? I didn't ask you. Well, I'm answering. Tobias got away. How'd you know? I saw him leave. Gunned down Seth as he did. Cocksucker. I said we should have left him in the mountains. We wouldn't have made it out without him. No, it was more Burton than Tobias. Man never contributed his fair share. Why didn't you shoot Tobias? He's in your group. Burton advise against it. What is that? By name here. He flew too. Ye a little faith, chaps. Count Burton and Tobias. We'll have lost six men today. Fourteen if you include the last job. How long until we're next?
next Malik. We only made it out with our luggage. It's not the payout you promised. Mine ain't even full. Lopez's group is completely intact. Sometimes lady luck is just against us. You're old, Malik. Are you questioning my leadership? So be it. This here old man beats me. Shoot him. Not an issue. If Logan wins, you show him the same courtesy he wishes upon myself. Three, two, one, go. Wait! Should we confirm the rules? There are none. <laughs> Who's in charge? <laughs> Who's in charge? One more pack to share, boys. Happy? Happy? Good. Now we split. Meet at Lawless Creek on Friday. They got some of us, so I doubt they'll send Pinkertons. See you Friday. Should we not bury the dead? Sure. Let's have a service. Sing a few prayers. Oh no! Put Dan out of his misery. One day, you're gonna anger the wrong soul. I doubt it. Maybe we'll make the millions or have ourselves some children. Oh, what a love could do. Maybe we'll live in Vegas or our house with picket fancy. Oh, what a love could do. If I got you, baby, you got. If you're looking for your horse, she's dead. You've got fuck all in your bag, boy. And there I was, looking you were some kind of salesman. Didn't find a gun. That made me think you were some kind of salesman. Well, trust the silver tongue. Over the silver boy. Now, I don't care to know your name. So I'm gonna ask you. What I will ask, though, is. Have you ever read the Bible? Good. So y'all be familiar with James 3, 6. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. 
and so is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire of hell. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I don't know what your church teaches. A man told me the man's tongue can speak great things. Great destruction in the end. Man cannot tame the silver tongue, but he can control the silver bullet. Hmm? Whew. I ain't got no use for you, Limey Salesman, no more. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My name's Landon Stubbert. The Stubbs is fine. What's your name? I'll be willing to pay you as thanks. What are you doing? If you had money, it'd be on him. There's money where I'm headed. If you get me there safely, I'll pay you more on top of what I already owe you for my life. How far are you headed? 50 miles. Man said you had no peace. You'll need it. You saved my life. And I'm thankful. But I need you to keep me safe for the rest of the way. And what good will shooting me do? I haven't got that far yet. Do it then. You didn't give me bullets. You got nuts, Stubbs. I'll give you that. You didn't give me bullets. How much can you pay me? About... About two thousand. Now that is a damn fine amount. Okay. Where are we heading? Uh, Lawless Creek. No horse? Heading into Lawless Creek has its... difficulties. Now, this best be for good reason, Stubbs, because I got something to tell you about the journey there. Not everyone makes it. Excuse me? Morning, ma'am. Where is your horse? No place for horses. I assume you found that out. Raise your hands. Come closer. Stop. How'd you do? My name is Arnold Malik. What's in the bag? Malik. Malik Marauders? You know my name. Only by stories. Well, then you know how they end. Now, what's in the bag? Thirty pieces of silver. Amusing. What's your name? Hazel Orme. Lovely to meet you, Miss Orme. Throw me the bag. Thank you, Miss Orm. You'll be wanted for murder. I don't see anyone around here to bear witness. Rocky Burton. It's one with the forest. 
They'll find you. Doubt it. So, so she was gone the next morning. I didn't think she'd actually go. Man, you don't know nothing about women, do you? And you do? I do indeed. Ever been married? No. But hey, I was close. Josie. Josie Tolliver. Was she nice? She was. But her dad wasn't. He was the owner of the Bella Union. I think his name was Cyrus. Something like that. I mean, I just mainly knew he fucking hated me. What happened? I killed him. Rough things up between myself and Josie. And I split. I ended up with Melik Marauders. Why'd you kill him? He drew on me. Who are the Melik Marauders? Uh, stop. Asking questions, kid. Tell me about this girl that you're chasing. Is she your girlfriend? No. Oh, but you want her to be. Howdy. Fancy seeing you here. I know you've been tracking us, Burton. You ain't exactly well hidden. You got me. Stubbs, this here's Rocky Burton. Bounty hunter. Why are you tracking us? Stealing bounties is a lot easier than catching them. So who is it that you think I'm hunting? Fine young lady. One with a bounty of 12,000. I thought it'd be nice to split it this time. Help you boys out a little bit. Yeah, I ain't hunting her. Horse shit. Why out here then? He's helping me. The Lawless Creek. Lawless Creek. You know, not everyone makes it. I've heard. What's your reason? Meeting a friend there. And then we're gonna take the train down to the coast. Sounds nice, kid. I wish you the best of luck with that. I'm gonna stick around for a while, though. It's best time to travel over these parts. Huh? Am I right? Am I right? There'll be wolves and bears. Where are you going? This friend of yours. She or he? She. Does she have a name? Hazel. Hazel. That's a sweet name. Hazel Orm, by any chance. Go on. Your lady's been behind the last shit list for a few days now. Ned Tobias over there using you to get to her. No. You no one knew her. Well, you talked about her, probably. Not until after our original arrangement. It don't matter if it was the original intention or not, kid. Look, it definitely is now. You see, I'm your true friend here. I will personally guide you to Lawless Creek and ensure your safety. No payment needed. I'll leave you and your friend alone. Why me? Our history and all sunshine and roses. A bullet from you would be more surprising. Do we have a deal? Why don't you two seem close? Very. Yeah, anyhow. We best get heading off before it's dark. Forest isn't too nice after sundown. Rival territory. Can you tell me about the Marauders? 
Well, it ain't much to tell. I fell in with them, and then I left. See, I'd call them more... savages. I always heard stories saying you were just as bad, man. It's all lies. I did everything that I could to ease the torment of Melek's victims. Y'all ever admire Melek? Not one bit. Why'd you leave? Well, like I said, they were savages. I think you really meant to ask why you stayed for so long if they were so horrible. Survival? I guess. Survival? Or did you enjoy the life that Melek gave you? Stop asking questions, Burton. I'm here to help Stubbs to his destination, not be an open book. Hey, what did Seth say? Who's Seth? We saw you shoot him, Ned. Melek did too. He asked me to hunt you after you killed the girl and their father. We took you in, we thought you'd be more grateful. I guess we were mistaken. You're not quick enough, bud. You never were. Stubbs, feel free to help. Stubbs! Whatever he's told you, it's a lie. You're full of shit. Do you know Hazel Orm? Well, she's your girl, right? Well, if you think that I'm using you to get to her, you're mistaken. Because that's exactly what Burton's doing. I told you that I always hated the pain that Melek inflicted. I wouldn't put that upon you. Trust me, Burton is deceiving you. Don't listen to this fucking asshole, all right? Shoot him, kid. We'll see you in hell, amigo. Pathetic. <laughs> fucking trash shooting me, huh? Your friend, kill my friend. She will not see the light okay, tomorrow, okay, all right? Please, please. Please, you can't beg for her life or yours. All you can do, all you can do is beg for okay. a swift judgment. The okay. devil has come to collect. <laughs> Me and you still have a long ways to go, Amigo. Okay. All right? Great, start walking. In a cold, tiled room, echoing melody. Yesterday I laid my head to find the devil in my dreams. I was calling out for someone and shaking in my sleep. Oh, I was shaking in my sleep. So I hitched to a wagon and I jumped a moving train. With hitchhokers and black whiskey running through my veins, boy. A sweet memory of a loved one was coursing through my veins. Oh, it was coursing through my veins. So let it go. And let it roll. Cause time it keeps ticking, there's another story told. Sell a broken heart, but I can't sell my soul. No, I can't sell my soul. Well, I took to a calling that I used to scoff and lie. What good are these fingers if not for a craft, boys? If you stay here long enough, you can watch a man collapse. You can watch a man collapse. Yes, I call it living in a new city old school.